Epic Games, the engine maker, the game maker, the storefront handler, and now the game's publisher. Welcome to another episode of Games Recap. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to get your game news recap every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I am Brandon Pham, and you can hit me up on Twitter at BlueChamps to discuss today's news, or just tell me your favorite color. Fortnite and Unreal Engine developer Epic Games will publish new games from three studios. Gen Design, The Last Guardian, Play Dead, makers of Inside and Limbo, and Remedy Entertainment, makers of Control. As part of a new developer-first approach, publishing agreement. Holy crap, that's a pretty crazy start for a publishing deal. Usually, most don't shout their contract terms from mountaintops, but you can't be a company called Epic and tell people things in the back alley or something. Believe me, this is a pretty epic announcement. Epic Games publishing arrangement with the developers is a fundamental change to developer publishing model. Here are the terms. Full creative freedom and ownership. Developers retain 100% of all intellectual property and full creative control of their work. In other words, the developers give Epic a license to distribute its game and takes its share of the revenue, but holds on to ownership of all the copyrighted code, character designs, art, and so on. Practically speaking, this means that if Remedy wanted to make a sequel to one of its Epic published games, but didn't want to involve Epic at all, it could theoretically do that. Fully funded projects. Epic Games Publishing will cover up to 100% of development costs from developer salaries to go-to market expenses such as QA, localization, marketing, and all publishing costs. One of Remedy's press releases confirms that Epic is providing the entire budget for two of its games. The agreements specify that the publisher will fully fund game development costs and that Remedy is entitled to a 50% share of the net revenue from the game sales. Remedy also retains the ownership of the game's intellectual property. The first project is a AAA multi-platform game already in pre-production and previously referred to as the unannounced third project. The second is a new smaller scale project set in the same franchise. Both projects are being developed on Remedy's proprietary Northlight game engine and tools. Man, Epic is footing the bill for everything and isn't even making developers use their Unreal Engine. That is mega. What is the last thing? There's got to be a, a catch, right? 50-50 profit sharing. Holy crap. Well, developers earn a fair share for their work. Once costs are recouped, developers earn at least 50% of all profits. Buttered pancakes. This means after Epic makes back its investments and covers retail, marketing, and other costs, it'll split the rest of the revenue 50-50. I like the sound of that. The lease here suggests that in some cases, developer will get a bigger net revenue share. In Remedy's case, it's 50-50. We're building the publishing model we always wanted for ourselves when we work with publishers, Tim Sweeney, founder and CEO of Epic Games, said in a statement, Tim Sweeney is slowly becoming the Bill Gates of game development, which also means he's so rich, he's trying to right all the sins of this industry all by himself. This is a monster deal for any developers. Well, how big? Well, as a comparison, let's look at another publisher's deal with Remedy for their hit game control for investing $7.75 million into Remedy's development of control, which costs between 20 to 30 million to make and handling marketing and distribution 505 Games secured publishing rights for 20 years. For that 20 year period, Remedy gets 45% of Control's net revenue, which refers to revenue after the investment is recouped, retail costs, marketing costs, and so on. Head of Epic Games Publishing Hector Sanchez added that developers will have full creative control while Epic will provide a solid foundation of project funding and services as part of their deal with Epic. Practically, this means that if Remedy's new games flop, and Epic never recoups its investment, Remedy won't have lost money because Epic paid for the entire cost of development. The deal with 505 Games, though, didn't even cover half of Remedy's development costs and took a 5% greater net revenue cut. Epic is definitely bearing more of the risk here. Ismael, who is a self-proclaimed indie developer messiah, says like, what is the deal they give you money so you can make your game for you, owned by you, 
controlled by you and then give you half the more money if it does well, which they will use for their own resources for. I have rarely heard of anything close to this. Devolver Digital, an indie publisher, responds sarcastically, come on, man. To be fair, at the time that this reported, Devolver Digital offers a 70-30 revenue split with the larger portion going to developers. That's obviously better than the 50-50 deal Epic has with Remedy, but come on, man. Epic is investing a lot more money into Remedy than Devolver Digital put into, say, the development of Hotline Miami, which is made by two people. So there's a difference here in terms of volume. The kinds of games Epic is funding can cost tens of millions of dollars to make. And again, it's that commitment to 100% funding that makes the whole deal stand out. The three deal now so far aren't the only publishing contracts Epic has signed either. Additional information, development partners, and games will be announced in the coming month, it says. Even if Epic Store exclusive remains a thing, I expect time exclusivity for these games Mostly. One important note is that the new games published by Epic won't necessarily be exclusive to its store. Epic describes the new venture as a new multi-platform publishing effort with a developer-first approach. Keyword, multi-platform. Epic says that more partners and the first games will be announced in the coming months. As for whether the game publishing industry as a whole will shift in response to Epic's publicized terms, whatever angle you look at this announcement, what Epic is doing is pretty admirable. Epic is sitting on such a huge amount of Fortnite money that they don't need to take on any unnecessary risk. However, instead they are continuously trying to upend the game development standards. First with the 12% storefront and now fronting dev costs for games and giving developers full intellectual control. This is madness. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How are you responding to this piece of news? Is Epic blowing smoke? Or do dreams really do come true?